From your local election headquarters, tomorrow's primary day and the first under new elections commissioners in Oneida County. They're cleaning up after a mess of mistakes in last November's general election, leading to the resignation of their predecessors. Yeah, the winner of New York's 22nd congressional race, not even decided, remember, Chrissy, until February, long after election day. That's when a judge ruled on the board's mistakes that he could and couldn't fix. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan asked the new commissioners how they're hoping to fix the problems and restore voter confidence in their office. When Sarah Borman lost her job in Anthony Brindisi's congressional office, the Oneida County Board of Elections had one open as Democratic commissioner. She and Republican Nicole Shortell make up the new team. What's it like to take over after such a mess? We just came in looking forward to the future. And excited you know, for the challenge. Blank slate, that's the way we looked at it. The prior commissioners violated voters' rights, the federal government accuses, when they failed to process 3,000 voter registrations submitted through the DMV. Since, the number of clerks doubled from four to eight to avoid future backups. In time for this primary, the board will make sure voters are directed to the correct polling places, preventing another one of last year's failures. We just got done with 16 yes. training sessions with our poll workers, and that was something we definitely addressed. One tool to help voters find their correct polling place are these poll pads. Right now, Oneida County has only eight of them, which are enough for the three early voting sites. But come Tuesday, whether it's a primary or general election, Oneida County has more than 100 voting sites, so it would need more than 100 of these iPads. We're grateful that it's a smaller scale election, so we can really learn all of these intricacies on a smaller scale so that we're more prepared for the general and then more, you know, intense races in the future. The commissioners have asked for guidance from neighboring counterparts, including in Onondaga County. Everyone has a common goal and it's, it's to ensure that every voter's vote is counted and that every election is fair and honest. An American promise not always kept. In Utica, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.